Captain Picard. My next guest visits strange and dangerous worlds every week with Whoopi and the whole gang over there uh, on Star Trek, The Next Generation. Here's a scene from one of his adventures. Power loss now at 12%, Captain. Red alert. Radiation intensity increasing. We'd better slow these engines down before we burn out the reaction chamber. Blood oil, Jordy. Is it possible? We fall into the same snare that killed them. A thousand year old booby trap. Please welcome Patrick Stewart. I won't waste your time opening this, because a mere token, it has a reference back to the last year and the last time I was here. Okay. Okay, but I, I don't want to, because your big, your big fans out there would be like, hey, don't be looking at a gift on my time. <laughs> oh. I want to hear Patrick talk. This right. lady, she says wonderful things about you. First of all, she just whispered to me, she said, and, and watch, you have to see this body language. She said, ooh, his voice. You know, she did that. She did that. <laughs> and, and she also says, you are... <laughs> Fine, fine, thank you, Arsene. <laughs> but I guess she thinks you're sexy and, and you all are friends and you all hang out. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what to say because Whoopi talking to you earlier has so intimidated me. <laughs> you were talking about taking out a woman who is rich. How do you take out a woman who is one of the funniest people in the world who says she wants to have a man who will make her laugh? <laughs> The jokes die on your lips. Yes. But what do you all have in common, though, Patrick? Hey, well, look at us. I mean, shouldn't the question be, what do you have that is uncommon? Yes. <laughs> now, just when I talk to the two of you, between segments, there's a drastic change of, of colloquialisms and uh, language and, and culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think... Uh, language, I think, is one of the things. She enjoys words. And I, I do too. And incidentally, I, there's something I need to do uh, just before we go on a little further because I did, I did, this is to do with words, with sounds. Okay. And this is, uh, this is from the London Times of today. Okay. I checked the birthdays for today. And you share today with several interesting people. Mm. With General Sir John Aikenhurst, General Sir John Archer, Lord Brockett, Lord Churston, Sir James Dunnett, <gasps> Lord Granville of Eme, Admiral of the Fleet, Lord Fieldhouse, Lord Green of Harrowfield, Lord Moyola, Mr. Justice Rougier, Lord Wigader, QC, Sir Aubrey Trotman Dickinson, <laughs> Lord Morrison, and Sir Robin Mackworth Young, Librarian Emeritus to Her Majesty the Queen. Oh, bad! <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. Uh-huh. <laughs> Today? Yes. <yeah. laughs> He's oh, my word. It's all right. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's someone... He was a friend of yours? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> and yours? Kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yes. Language. She, she likes words, and she uses them wonderfully. And she uses them to provoke, and to challenge, and to amuse. Um, I, I, I use them because when I was a child, I had an older brother who read to me. Mm -hmm. He read Shakespeare to me. By the way, I've been doing some more research, incidentally. There is a, a possible... Do you know a lot about your ancestors? Do you know yes. About... <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, the, the halls... It's just possible that you could be related to William Shakespeare. Shakespeare's daughter, Susanna, married a Dr. John Hall. And you can see his house in Stratford. Hallscroft is still there. Look into it. Check it out, Arsenio. <laughs> I think not. Okay. Yeah, disreputable <laughs> ancestors. When you talk about words, what kind of language maybe do you all exchange and uh, teach each other? Well, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, being from such drastically different backgrounds, 
there, there are two things that go on in our set. I am being coached because I'm fascinated by black street language. Mm -hmm. I first came across it when one day I heard a voice that I recognized the quality of, but I didn't understand the language. Mm -hmm. And it was Michael Dawn mm -hmm. talking to one of the brothers in the street around here in Panama. And mm -hmm. I didn't understand a word that he was saying. Mm -hmm. I'm fascinated by it. It sounds so rich and colorful. You and picked up brothers. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, I have. And, and in return, I am coaching Michael to replace the late Lord Olivier. You see, I have this ambition for him that he could become one of England's most distinguished actors if he can learn to speak standard English. And, uh, and Michael is terrific. And I'm looking forward to the day when we shall hear Michael Dorn say... This is the BBC World Service, and this is Michael Dorn reading it. Mm-hmm. I... The Mike, Michael is the one with the thing on his head. <laughs> turtle head. Yeah, yeah. Turtle head. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll look forward to that time. Mm -hmm. We gonna take commercial? Okay, we'll take commercial. We'll come right back with Patrick. And... <laughs>